And we'll start off our Advent prayer with this song here. A lot of you know it. So if you can sing along, please do. Hope you're having a wonderful day. This is our second week of Advent, and our theme is Joy Filled Advent. This week is O is for Others. So let us begin our Advent prayer. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Stir up your power, O Lord, and come. Keep us watchful and ready for the signs of your return. Keep us from being overcome with anxiety and sorrow, and keep us faithful to the end through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Today's reading is a reading from the Holy Gospel of Mark. The beginning of the Gospel of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, as it is written in the Prophets. Look. I am sending my messenger before your face, who will prepare your way before you. The voice of the one crying in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord, make his paths straight. John came baptizing in the wilderness and preaching a baptism of repentance for the remission of sins. The whole region of Judea and all the people of Jerusalem went out to him, were all baptized by him in the Jordan River confessing their sins. John was clothed with camel's hair and with a leather belt around his waist, and he ate locusts and wild honey. He preached, saying, After me is coming one mightier than I, the straps of whose sandals I am not worthy to stoop down and untie. I indeed have baptized you with water, but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. The Word of the Lord Our theme for Advent is joy, and last week we focused on the letter J, J for Jesus. And to have joy, you need to have Jesus in your heart. Now this week, we're focused on the letter O, which is for others. To have joy in your heart, you need to think of others. So, instead of always thinking like, what is it in for me, what do I get out of this, what is my best interest? You should be thinking, what can I do for others? How can I help others out? Because actually, this is a true path to joy. When you give, you will bring joy to your heart. When you look out for others, you will bring joy to your heart. When you help others, you will bring joy to your heart. So in your little candy box, you had this piece of candy that you see a picture of, a little mint piece of candy, um, and it's representing the, the O, so don't eat them yet. We got one more letter to go. But again, O is for others. And then, so Gospel's reading today was about John the Baptist. And you might think that John was, uh, you know, he was sort of in the wilderness and living alone and you probably would think he wasn't looking out for others. But you got to remember, his whole life was devoted for preparing the way for others. He didn't just concern himself. He didn't go into the River Jordan and baptize himself. He went in the River Jordan to baptize others, to get them ready. He was worried about others, not himself. So I think John was a very joyful person. We don't get to learn it as personality too much in the gospel uh, other than what he wore and what he ate but because he always worked for others I gotta believe this man was a very joyful man because that is where true joy is found in giving to others so this Advent week let's really work on what can we do to help others 
Please respond, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray that we will be patient during this Advent time and remember the real reason for the celebration of Christmas. We pray to the Lord. We pray for peace in our classrooms, schools, and in our world. We pray to the Lord. We pray for those who are sick, their caregivers and doctors, that they may find peace and strength in Jesus. We pray to the Lord. We pray to see the need in those around us and to always stay awake and aware of simple ways to share with those who have less. We pray to the Lord. We pray for those who will be receiving our shoebox gifts and for children everywhere that they may experience happiness during this time we pray to the lord we pray for all of us gathered here today that we may prepare our hearts for the coming of jesus by asking for forgiveness we pray to the lord We ask you to listen to our prayers and to listen to the ones held in our hearts. And we ask these through your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. And now, I would like you to sing along with this song. Longing for light, we wait in darkness. Longing for truth. And now let us pray. Father God, every word in the Bible points to the gift of hope and joy that we have because of Christ Jesus. The Christmas story shows your plan to redeem your people and restore them into a friendship with you. We are able to truly begin to see and understand just how great your love for us is when we read the story of Jesus' birth. That first Christmas, you gave us the gift of hope and joy, wrapped in swaddling clothes and laid in a manger. Thank you, Father, for this immeasurable gift. In Jesus' precious name we pray, Amen. And now, I want you all to get up and boogie on down, <laughs> our dance, uh, to this fun song, Joy. be halfway through this valley and my eyes just can't see a quick way out and it might seem life's got it out for me like i'm in way too deep but i have found every single circumstance i can place in greater hands i won't let my trouble bring me down
I'll just cast my cares Won't sink into despair I won't find answers there Only doubt Every single circumstance I can face in greater hands God, I know you'll never let me down I've got joy down in my soul I'm gonna take it everywhere I go Not gonna worry about what I don't know I'll be alright as long as I've got joy here in my heart Waving like a torch fighting off the dark In the jet black night I'm gonna see the stars I'll be alright as long as I've got Truth, gonna light the way and see me through Gonna be my hope, be my shield Gonna lift me up no matter how I feel Gonna be my strength, be my